Cobalt 60 is a beta emitting radioactive isotope with a half life of 5.27 years. It is not a naturally occurring isotope. A neutron collides with a cobalt-59 nucleus and forms cobalt-60. For the reason that radioactive decay leads to more stable products, it always releases energy. Some of this is in the form of kinetic energy, but is mostly given off as a form of radiant energy called gamma rays. Gamma rays can be viewed as streams of high-energy photons. During the beta decay of cobalt-60, gamma rays are produced. Whilst having too many neutrons is classified as stable, the beta emission process is put into place for cobalt-60. The beta emission process is when a neutron becomes a proton and an electron. The proton remains in the nucleus and, then, and the electron, which is now called a beta particle, is ejected from the atom. Cobalt-60 is therefore a type of ionizing radiation. In medicine, cobalt-60 is most commonly used as a source of radiation therapy, which includes the treatment for cancer patients, which could also be known as gamma knife therapy. Cobalt-60 therapy units contain a small cylinder of cobalt-60 in the treatment head of the device. As the patient lies on the table, a beam of gamma rays passes through a series of kilometers and jaws, which shape the beam as it is directed at the patient. Cobalt-60 has many advantages and disadvantages to using the isotope. However, the benefits outweigh the problem. Cobalt-60 beneficially shows one way of using non-invasive diagnostic procedure on the heart, brain, kidneys, and thyroid which would not be otherwise possible. Gamma knife surgery is cheaper, encourages a quicker recovery resulting in shorter time spent in hospital, and is very precise and direct in the procedure. However, on the other side of the spectrum, the problems of using this radioisotope include tissue damage, which could lead to sickness and in rare occasions death. Because cobalt-60 decays by gamma radiation, there is a chance that with external exposure to large sources of cobalt-60, it can cause skin burns and acute radiation sickness. Although there appear to be numerous numbers of side effects that can cause physical health risks and problems, the benefits of using cobalt-60 outweigh the negatives by the fact that cobalt-60 is used in machines in an estimated 50 million cancer treatments that are carried out each year in hospitals and clinics, which enables a more reliable and affordable care for patients in need, which gives a higher chance of survival and success for these cancer patients. With over 40 years of success, cobalt-60 has proven to be a highly commended beneficial radioisotope that is used in medicine in today's society.